Hey everybody, how you guys doing? I do hope that you're doing well. So today, I'm actually making this video because we're having an issue with our uh, Delta Pro here where it triggered a code, an uh, overload code 121 and powering off the unit as well as using the overload reset button on the back of the unit is not erasing the code. And so I've already filed a claim with EcoFlow so that they could warranty out the product so that you know, they needed a video showing exactly what was going on. So that's pretty much the reason why I'm making this video. Also to kind of share with you guys as well, so in case of anyone may have experienced something similar to what we have, you guys will know uh, what to expect. Of course my hope is, is that EcoFlow will go ahead and warranty out the product. Uh, also, this is not a product review on this particular item. I haven't had any issues up until this particular uh, moment that the code had popped up in which I'm going to share with you as to what actually transpired that particular day when we were using it and the code popped up because I really do think it's kind of unique to this situation. I don't believe that there was anything necessarily wrong with the unit per se, but then again, I can't say. So let's go ahead and dive in and let me uh, show you our setup first because that is important. And I'll go ahead and kind of should talk to you about what actually happened that particular night when the cold had popped up. Okay, so this is our Delta Pro here. Uh, and as you can see, I um, and this, it sits in this area. This is where it lives. I uh, built a card for it, and it stays on here. And it's connected to this outlet here, which is a 120-volt outlet, which is connected to a 20-amp breaker, which is right here. There's nothing else on this circuit. It's just a Delta Pro. We have it set up where we have a 10 circuit manual transfer switch as well as up here we have a 6 circuit manual transfer switch. So this particular circuit right here in the transfer switch is for the solar generator. This switch isn't always in the off position when it's not charging, uh, when it's not being charged. So what that means is, is there's no power coming through this outlet when the transfer switch for the solar generator is in off position so there's no power going through it okay uh, as you can see we have different stickers on all the circuits here which are basically labeled so that those are the critical circuits that we would need and a power outage because we have a backup gas generator as well so that particular night when we had the the issue of the coal popping up we were in uh, a, a severe thunderstorm with the chance of a tornado in our area it was really bad and I came down here like I normally would when I'm testing the unit I went on here and powered the unit on, which is right here. I'm not going to do it yet. I'm going to demonstrate that later. And I, I made sure that I switched on, switched this to line mode. Okay, so basically, all of the, you know, the the power and grid power was coming in through here. And then what I did was I went on here and I start flipping over, flipping all of these that are in line mode up to gen mode, which is basically what the EcoFlow would have been powering these circuits here, okay? As well as the one up here, okay? So all of these, I don't know, they were running maybe about five to 700 watts. So it wasn't that much. So, what ended up happening was the power went out. Okay, it went out. It, it, it literally turned off for, I don't know, maybe one or two seconds, right? 
the EcoFlow switched over to EPS mode, which is uh, emergency power source, right? It's powering all the circuits, but then the power came back on right after that. And then the EcoFlow, it shut down. So I'm like, oh man, you know, that wasn't supposed to happen, right? So after investigating everything, I noticed when I came down here, check the circuit here, and it was true which meant that there must have been too much power that came through there, right? So I flipped that back over. I came down here to power on the unit and the coal popped up and I couldn't erase it. So basically, our unit is pretty much dead in the water, okay? The only ones that work are these up here, the USB, USB-C, uh, you know fast charges those are the only ones that work the the these down here the two wall outlets the 120 volt and then a um, 30 uh, amp outlet they don't even work you know so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna demonstrate what is actually doing right now okay so now I'm going to show you what the particular issue is so before I power on the unit, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on this outlet here, which will allow grid power to come through to charge this because it's at about 74% charge. It's not even charging. Okay. And normally if the unit is off, if it's off, and once you plug it into a power source, the unit is supposed to turn on automatically on its own. At least that's what it's always done for me. So. I'm gonna go ahead up here and I'm gonna go ahead and flip this down and as you see it doesn't even power on now I put my wattage uh, usage meter on here just so I can show you that sorry about the camera that there is voltage coming through Okay, so you see it's 116.4 volts. And this is grid power. And let's see. And that's the hertz. Okay, and you see the Delta Pro is plugged in. So there isn't an issue with the outlet. Okay. Now I'm going to come on down here and I'm going to power this on. Okay. And then this is another thing too. When this incident happened, which was maybe a week ago, this was charged at 100%. So there wasn't really anything being used. So I have no idea why it's doing what it's doing. So now if you look here, you see how it was flashing 50 hertz? Normally it would say 60 hertz. And then there's the overload focus on that see if I could focus it okay it's, it's kind of hard my, my camera won't focus on it but right here is is the overload okay and then there's the code right there let me see if I can turn off my light okay so now you see okay so it's like it won't even you know, powering it off won't do anything. You know, I can't even turn on. Right now, I'm trying to turn on the outlets. It won't do anything. And I even try to reset it on the back, and it won't even reset. So basically, we can't even use this now. So let me go and show you the all of the safety features on this that's according to the owner's manual. Okay, and then here's another thing too. So I powered the unit off, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to unplug it. Okay, as you see there, so it's it's um, unplugged, and I'm going to go ahead and power the unit on. Okay, and as you notice here, it doesn't show any overload codes or anything like that. But watch what happens when I try to turn on the AC outlets. See, the cold pops up. 
Okay, so here in the owner's manual, as you can see, where it says uh, protection, right? So it has over voltage protection, overload protection, over temperature protection, short circuit protection, low temperature protection, low voltage protection, over current protection. So in case of our situation, the Delta Pro should have been protected and this issue shouldn't have happened. All right, and then in the back here, where is EPS mode, which is what we were using it for, it tells you the product supports EPS when you connect the grid power to the AC input port of the product through an AC cable. You can power electrical devices through the AC output port. AC power will come from the grid and not the power station in this situation. In case of a sudden blackout, the product can automatically switch to the battery power supply mode within 30 milliseconds. As a basic UPS function, this function does not support ohm switching. Please do not connect the product to any devices that requires ohms UPS, such as data servers and workstation. And that's basically because it may damage those particular products, which that doesn't have anything to do with the Delta Pro. Please test and confirm the compatibility before using the product. We recommend that you only charge one device at a time and avoid using multiple ones at the same time to avoid overload protection. EcoFlow takes no responsibility of any device failures or data loss caused by failures to follow instructions. So basically because we're using ours as a home backup, uh, as a home backup, ours were powered through the 30 amp and then the, the outlets, which none of our devices, nothing was damaged. Okay, just the unit itself. So, you know, this, it really shouldn't have happened. You know, we used it exactly the way we were supposed to, but yet we're having that issue and we can't even use it. So I'm hoping that EcoFlow will you know warranty this out and or at least tell me you know how to you know fix this if it's a software issue or something like that because I can't even tell if it's something physically wrong with it or if it's just something with the electronics on the device so if you guys have any questions or even any suggestions uh, post it down in the comments you guys have yourself a blessed day